And we are going live. Okay. Wonderful. All right. Welcome, everyone. It is that time again. It is time to excel. I'm Janet Ickes, and I'll be hosting today our episode of It's Time to Excel because we want to inspire and ignite the possibilities that are there for you. And I'm so honored and blessed to have my guest today is Don Daves with Diamond Financial Group. And he's going to be sharing an interesting topic with us. And it's all about a risk number. And that risk number, hmm, let's see, what is that? Well, that's what he's going to share with us. And he's going to help us to kind of understand that. Because in this topsy-turvy world right now, oh my goodness, we're just not sure what direction we're going on at this point. And, you know, but that's okay. And we just want everyone and we want to encourage everyone and we want you to excel. So a little bit about Don here. Would you like to uh, go ahead and share a little bit about your background and kind of how you got in with Diamond Financial Group and a little bit about you with our group here today? Well, yes, uh, Janet, thank you very much for having me on today. I appreciate it and uh, looking forward to our, our talk today. Um, but my name is Don Daves and I am a, a registered investment advisor, uh, been working in the financial field since 1979. So it's been quite a few years. A couple that I've years. Just a few. Um, I started into it uh, with my dad. He's been in the business himself uh, for about 30 years or so. And so we worked together. And then when he passed, I took over the business and continued it on. And then uh, my son came in and started working with me as well. And he's been with me for about 20 years. So it's been kind of a family business family. that we've continued on. Um, Very cool. It's a lot of fun too. Wonderful. Well, as I said, I'm so grateful that you are, you know, willing to spend some time with us and kind of help guide us a little bit um, as we're going. And it's kind of interesting. I believe it's called Risk Alive. So you got my attention there because I'm not as familiar with that. But it all talks about your risk number. And why is risk so important? Why do we need to know that number? What is that number? Well, the risk number is uh, a number that we can assign based on a, uh, a program that we've developed that allows us to find out what type of risk you're willing to take. And I think uh, what we find is a lot of people are told, okay, well, if you're younger, you can take a lot of risk. If you're older, you shouldn't take much risk as far as your investments go. But um, uh, we find that at all ages, everybody is, is different. And this program actually helps us to find and assign a risk number so that you know that based on your feelings about investments and money and things such as that, you can have a number that will kind of give you a guideline. And then uh, you can look at the investments that you may have and see if those investments are fitting your guideline risk number. That's interesting. So this is a technology that's going to help us identify that risk for each one of us. So it's very customized and individualized. That's really cool. Wonderful. So really, you're taking some of that guesswork out of this financial future that no one has any idea what direction we're going. <laughs> that's, that's, exactly right. that's exactly right. And I'm sure right. that's the topic on most folks. Hey, yeah, anywhere we could help guide a little bit of that, I would say would be very, very beneficial right now. <laughs> yeah, as we any, going. yeah, I think in any situation, everybody is looking for some kind of guidance. And we're, you know, 2020 has been a crazy year for everybody. And, uh, I think a lot of people would like to move forward to 2021 and <laughs> yeah. just put this year behind us. But we still have several things that are coming forward uh, in just in the next few months that can affect okay. uh, your investments and how you look at things financially. And so it's very important to maybe take a look at your risk number and make sure that you're kind of in a situation that will allow you to maybe get through the next six months and be where you want to be. Okay, wonderful. Well, let's see. I do believe there's a video here that I'm going to attempt to play. Do you think that's about time to give that a try and maybe kind of give people that we've been talking about this risk number, maybe kind of get them a feel for what we've been talking about? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. All to give right, I'm going to try. <laughs> and I think it'll give them a good understanding of how it works. Well, very cool. We're going to try this and see if technology is going to be a little bit more, you know, cooperative than it was earlier today. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I 
found the flyer, of course it's not going to be cooperative. Why would I want it to be cooperative? And that would be because I can't seem to find the video. It's hiding. <laughs> it is absolutely hiding. Well, we're going to find it. We are absolutely going to find it here. And you're going to just keep talking while I go find it. <laughs> and I'll bring it up here momentarily. <laughs> But uh, so, yeah, it's a uh, very interesting time to to talk with people uh, about how things work and what they want to do. And, um, you know, I started in this business with my dad. And one of the, the key things that I learned from him was uh, just always help people to do whatever's best for them and not worry about anything for yourself. And uh, so I've always done that. And I've taught my son the same thing. We, we want to be there to help people get to the points they want to get to. And if it's good for us, that's great. If it's not anything in it for us, that's still fine as long as we're helping someone to reach the goals they want to reach. And I appreciate that and so much. Of, we've been networking now for a little while together and I've gotten to know you and I have been just so appreciative of, you know, what you've been willing to share. And I do think we're going to be able to share. Is it Riskalyze coming up? Can you see it there? Yes, yes. Awesome. Hit so I'm going to hit play, you. and we're going to see if it's going to play. There we go. <laughs> Time will tell. Very cool. Yeah. I think that kind of gave a little bit of an overview of kind of the Absolutely. direction. Absolutely. So hopefully that worked well on the video and everybody will be able to get a chance to kind of see how that's going. Um, so go ahead. Let's see. I'm going to bump out of there. Perfect. And we're going to continue with, and I do believe you want to share a little bit more. You want to give a little bit of guidance or do you want to maybe offer a gift? I think you do have a gift for some folks too. Well, yeah. Um, one of the things that uh, we try to do is to help people and we want to do it for anyone uh, and, you know, potentially take a look at the, what the risk number might be. And so right now we are offering it as a free service. You can go to our website and you can ask for a free risk analysis and you go in there and you'll be able within about five minutes to be able to come up with what your risk number is. And uh, so then if you come up with your risk number and you want to see if your portfolio or your investments match that, then we can get together or, or talk with each other and uh, match up your investments as well. See how, what your number is on those as well. And that's a free service that we provide to someone. Oh, that's wonderful. So a gift to anyone listening here, they can take advantage of that. We can go ahead and post that. <clears throat> Once this is live, we'll go ahead and post that on the uh, post here that will give you your website. And they just simply have to scroll down and click on free portfolio risk analysis. And it's right there for them. And reach out and you can get your own actual risk alive number so that you know exactly the direction that you need to be going in and making sure they are in alignment with what your investments truly are. What else could you share? I mean, why is investing so important? I think uh, what I've found over the many years that I've been doing this is that uh, most people don't spend enough time in planning their financial future to, to get an idea of what it looks like. Um, 
it's really interesting. A lot of people will spend more time planning a vacation than they do <laughs> planning their, their financial future. And uh, this will create a big challenge for people trying to figure out, you know, where they're at and what they're going to have uh, in their future. Uh, and then, you know, what happens if they don't take action? Well, the, the biggest question or, or thing that happens there is that that could create a situation where they might not have the money they need in retirement, or they might find themselves in a situation where they would like to retire, but they can't because of the investments they were in. And just give you an example of that. If you were saying planning on retiring back in 2010, for example, um, you might have had investments that were very high risk. And in 2008, the stock market went down about 40 to 50%. So a person could have had about a loss of half of their retirement money. And so the person that wanted to retire may have found that, well, I can't retire now because I lost half my income. I have to continue to work. And wow. so that's where the risk number comes into play because as you go through the years and you get close to retirement, your risk number may change. You may find that you want to be more safe with your money and, and protect what you've already accumulated. Uh, so those are the ideas that we try to, to help them with. Well, it's a scary thing. I mean, the unknown is always a scary type of deal, you know, and if that 40, 50 percent, that that's huge. And we don't know what economic. Do you have any guidance for the economic chaos that we're in right now? Do you have any suggestion? Because I'm going to guess you get that question all the time. Is there think, something you would um, share with the group to kind of maybe put our minds at slight ease if there, as possible? <laughs> Well, I think uh, so far this year, ever since March, when all this started coming about with COVID, uh, one of the key things that I've been doing with our uh, clients is to contact them and talk with them. We immediately started in March doing that. And then, uh, you know, you, you are kind of walking through with everybody, I guess, hand-holding in a way to make everybody feel comfortable. But as things have turned around now, the, the stock market investments are going back up. They've set new record highs now. And so that's a very good thing. But um, we do have something coming up that's going to affect which way things go, and that's going to be the election. And so that's a big question that everybody's asking. And I'm not saying politically one way or the other, but uh, there will be an effect on how the money goes, whether it goes up or down come November. And so biggest thing is probably right now, we have been advising to be probably a little bit more safe and conservative just until we know which direction things are going. And then you can go back in uh, if things are going up or stay out if things are going down. But um, that's where the risk is gonna be. Um, you know, if you stay where you're at and you're in a high risk category, that could be a, a, a chance you're taking. Um, but that goes back to the risk number. Uh, our risk number analysis is designed to help people understand where they're at and also give them some, a guideline of probably about a 95% probability of where they'll be in six months. So it helps them get through this real volatile time that we're in right now. So that's another kind of reason for the strength of the risk number. That makes a lot of sense. It's definitely crazy. There is no doubt there. And we're just not quite sure what direction any of us are heading in. So I'm so grateful that you're willing to kind of share a little bit with that. You know, you've been in this industry for an awful long time. So I'm going to guess you've seen some ups and downs. So maybe not quite to this extent, but uh, I'm sure this is common. Is it not to be a lot of ups and downs in the market? Yeah, it's very common. It's uh, if you look at economics, uh, Historically, they say that these uh, changes happen about every five years. Okay. Uh, sometimes there are longer periods of ups or, you know, normally the downs aren't that long, but the, the up period can be longer. Uh, but yeah, that's, it's constantly changing. And uh, that's the importance of really knowing where you're at and where you want to be uh, and planning to make adjustments as you go along. So. I guess the key word is that plan. I think I've said that once or twice. It's when it comes to money, too. The key <laughs> word is we, plan and adjust. You, plan and adjust. Yeah. <laughs> you can't adjust if you don't have the initial plan. And that's kind of where you're at. You're, you're going back to, you know, we've got to get something into place. Um, is there anything as far as, you know, 
something that you would have liked to have known a little bit sooner or, you know, that you've learned along your journey that maybe you could make the journey a little shorter for some of the other ones? What was one thing that you wish you'd have known a lot sooner? Well, the, the risk number comes into play there because if, you know, back when I first started in this, um, we would have questions. It was a, a questionnaire, normally about 10 questions you would ask a person and it was supposed to get an idea of the risk. And you'd say, well, if you were in this situation, what would you do and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and you kind of went along with younger people, <laughs> went with more risk, your older people went with less risk and that type of thing. So I think technology has made a big difference. So I think that's the thing that I okay. wish had been available more readily back when I first started and, and the people that I worked with. Uh, and I think that's the big advantage that all of us have today moving forward okay. is using technology to move uh, and, and kind of get better ideas of where you're at and where you want to be. So technology can be our friend. <laughs> Sometimes Very it's, cool. It's not, but sometimes it is. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So if we can get folks and encourage folks to actually take a little bit of time and maybe take advantage of finding out what their risk and risk number is, that would be a great first step. Would you agree? Very much so. Yes. Awesome. I think, uh, awesome. That would be a key thing. Is there anything else as you're thinking um, that you'd like to share that we haven't covered over and then we'll come back around and we'll reiterate a little bit more of that risk information and how to get in touch with you. We'll put all that in there as well. But is there anything else that you can think of that, you know, that you're hearing so much of that you can encourage our group? Well, um, um, from my years of business, I think one of the key things is for people to uh, just take the time to kind of look at where they're at and where they want to be. And it plays in and also very similar to what you do with everyone as well uh, with uh, Excel with me, because most people don't have any idea where their money's going and how it's being spent. And there's a lot of times that if you really take a look at how you're spending your money, and this is one of the things that we do when we sit down with a, a business owner or individual or family to try to get an idea of where your money is and where you're spending it. And what you may find is that once you know where the money's going out, you might be able to reposition it in such a way that allows you to free up money to invest okay. or to buy things or whatever it is that you want to do. So I think uh, that's probably the key starting point is find out where your money's going and what you're doing with it and then know what your risk number is and then move forward from there. Uh, and set goals of where you want to be. And that makes a lot of sense. And I think that's why we've partnered so well together and some of the things that we've been doing, because we've got to get the money freed up to be able to push it over to be able to invest. And it's a vicious cycle, but they all build upon each other. And there are some different things. I mean, there's a lot of different investment opportunities that are there, whether it's, you know, if your corporation has a 401k or even some of the small businesses have the IRA, like there's different benefits to each one and I know personally, it's hard to keep up with that, but that is your expertise and that you can kind of give them some guidance as to what might be best for them. And even as a small business owner, should they, I mean, personally, you think about it, but there's some business benefits as well, I would believe. Oh, very much so, because we're able to go in uh, not only for the individual or the family, but we also work with the businesses and business owners uh, in managing their 401k plans or even setting up um specialized plans for the business owner. Uh, for example, okay. if they're looking to um, possibly exit the business and sell it down the road, uh, what's the best way to do that and how to, okay. to come out for them the best way tax-wise. So those are key things we look at. Uh, um, so we try to look at all avenues of finance um, to find okay. the best way for them to, to be successful. So it's definitely a journey and it's yes. definitely a big picture. It's involved journey <laughs> yeah. as we're going. Very, very cool. Well, thank you so much for being willing to come on and spend some time with us today. And I hope that, you know, people take advantage of this because it is important to know your risk number. We can go ahead and we're going to put your website in there as well. And just to give them an idea, I'm going to try to share a screen. I'm going to see if I can get really creative and really techie today and find that other, there it is. This is a flyer regarding which they'll have access to as well. Is that correct? Yes. 
Did it come up? I always like to ask because one never knows when you're on two screens. <laughs> But they can get a chance that you want to build your investment strategy using this, and it'll give you an opportunity to kind of find out, are you in alignment? Are you investing based upon what you should be, what you need to be, uh, you know, and kind of going from there. So that is really, really cool, and we can figure that out. And that's available to anyone listening today. And also, you're, you're so generous in being willing to give a gift that you'll actually go in and work with the folks and give them an opportunity to do an assessment based upon that risk number, actually give them a free assessment as to where they're going. I know there's usually a charge to that, and I appreciate you being willing to gift that to those that are willing to take advantage of it. And I encourage you to do that. Take advantage of it because it is definitely your time to excel. And we want you to do that because we want to ignite and we want to inspire you to actually figure out what those possibilities are to move forward and hopefully put it into, you know, your business, you're in business for a reason. And I'm suspecting it's to support your lifestyle, at least it's some underlying aspect of it, in spite of all the stress, in spite of everything else. And part of that hinges on making sure you understand where your money's going and being able to invest in the future so that in your retirement years, uh, you can actually enjoy maybe a little bit more and not be so stressed <laughs> when it comes for that. So thank you so very much for joining us. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Is there anything else that you'd like to say before we say goodbye yeah. today? Yes, I'd just like to say thank you very much for the oh. opportunity to be here and talk with you and uh, uh, you know value our friendship and our thank relationship you. working together here. And uh, if there's anyone that... Uh, has questions concerning their finances, their 401ks, or any any investments. Uh, if they're just not sure about where they're at and what they want to do, or where you know if that's the right thing for them, mm -hmm. uh, feel free to give us a call or email us. We'd be glad to talk with you yeah. uh, or use the uh, risk number and see if there's something that you know may be of value to you. Um, and we'd be happy to work or help with anyone that uh, would like it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And as I said, I agree completely with you. I've been very blessed to have, you know, our friendship as it's been growing and, you know, and all the networking and just building together and moving forward because it definitely takes a group of us to, you know, it's much nicer to be on the journey together. So thank you so much for being on this journey with me. And we thank each and every one of you for tuning in. And we hope that you take advantage of these gifts that are available because it is your time to excel. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Thank you.